Hey guys, hope you're okay. Listen to this. Right, so I'm just doing, uh, it's been a mad morning and I thought, right, I'm just gonna stop exactly everything I'm doing. I'm just putting down and I thought, oh, this is it. I'm getting into the word. I'm gonna do some devotional time. And I, I've been in, I've, I've been, I've just spent probably maybe two hours just, just me and God and just having an amazing time. You know, I don't know why I, we, I, I do it to myself all the time. I sort of push and push and push get weighed down with stuff, get bogged down with stuff, and then get into the Word, and God just revives me. But I'm just doing this devotional. I want to share this with you. I want to read it to you, and then I just want to add a bit to it. So it, today's devotional is around boldness. Amen? Boldness, a confidence, a confident trust. If we are going to do anything great for God and be determined to pursue the dreams... He places in our hearts. We have to be bold enough to take chances. Amen. We have to be courageous. Life isn't always easy, but we don't have to stop or quit when we face a problem. Anyone relate to that? With God's help, we can confidently press ahead. When we face situations that threaten or intimidate, it's important that we pray for God to give us a courageous spirit and an inner boldness to overcome the obstacle. Fear will always try and keep us from going forward, but we can overcome fear with God's help. It is a misconception to think that courageous people don't feel fear. They press on even through the feeling of fear, even when it's still present. Boldness says, God is on my side, and if he's for me, then it doesn't matter who or what is against me. And the scripture here is 1 John 3:21. We have a confidence, a complete assurance and boldness before God. You know, I want to encourage us that we need to be bold for Jesus. Amen. We need to step out. And, you know, there'll be times, and, and from personal experience, there'll be times when we don't feel as bold. We don't feel uh, on point. You know, I, for anyone who was listening to what I preached on Sunday, you know, there are some things where I'm bold, like I believe God's put a boldness on me to declare the gospel because I have, I've had that revelation and I've been set free and God has really done a work in my life. But then there's other areas of my life where I'm not so bold. I'm not the best educated person in the world. So I panic when it comes to paperwork or any admin type stuff. Doesn't mean I can't do it. It just means I have a, I have a fear, and I, but I overcome it. I don't put the, close the book or close the computer screen, get up and leave and walk home. What I do is I... I may have a bit of a, a wobble, but I, I press in and I keep doing it. And more often than not, I'll ask for God's help. And that's what we've got to do as Christians. We've got to be asking for the boldness of God. When, the, when we face trials and tribulations on things that, you know, aren't going our way or that could potentially cause us to stumble, then we need to press in. We need to call on God. We need to pray for boldness, a bold spirit, a courageous spirit, a spirit that says, you know what, I'm not going to lie down and take this any longer, that I'm going to be bold for the kingdom of God, that I'm going to be bold for Jesus Christ, who is my God. And we need to declare more who Jesus is in our life. We need to be declaring from our lips who Jesus is in our life. Amen. We know who he is. We know he's a saviour of the world. We know that he died on a cross for, for all the sins of man, mankind. But who is Jesus to you today? Who is he in your life? Is he your best friend? Is he your rock? Is he the one that you depend on? He is the one that you go to. Is he the one that you lean on? Well, and you need to declare and be bold and be proud. I remember that song, Be bold for the Lord thy God is with me. I will not be afraid, oh no, because the Lord thy God is with me. Be bold. Be bold for Jesus, amen. I hope this has blessed someone. I hope this, you know, you look on this video and it speaks to you and if it does apply it and begin to ask for the fire and boldness of God. Amen. Be blessed beyond measure. Remember who you are. Remember who you were called to be. But more importantly, remember who your God is. Amen. Be blessed.